I wonder, what would an extrovert say about this campaign? I can imagine. 13 facts you need to know about this campaign. Fact 1. It was true. Fact 2. It worked. Loved Latvia's campaign at the London Book Fair. Can't wait to read some more Latvian literature and visit. Latvian publicity campaign, whose subtext seems to be really hoping no one will turn up. Possibly my favourite thing about the London Book Fair so far. Fact 3. It was witty. Fact 4. It truly changed the perception of Latvians worldwide. UK-wide, I mean. Fact 5. It really drew attention to Latvian authors for who they are. Fact 6. It was courageous. I don't think I've ever enjoyed bathroom photos from a book fair this much before. I am calling it. Best advert for the London Book Fair goes to Latvian literature for this on the cubicle door of the ladies' lose. Fact 7. It was intoxicating. When ordering an introverted beer at a bar, you never know which bottle you will get. One of them comes with a warning label. This beer may turn you into an extrovert. Fact 8. You could eat it. Ten restaurants across Riga participated in the introverted lunch campaign, offering special dishes written by Latvian authors. Along with your meal, you were served an illustrated short recipe story. Fact 9. It was fashionable. An introverted t-shirt allows you to interchange quotes by Latvian authors to suit your mood. Fact 10. It was fidgetal. An introverted wardrobe was set up at the London Book Fair where you could take a test to find out whether the sea, a forest, a marshland or a Riga streetscape is the right backdrop for your introverted type. Once you picked out a Latvian literature quote to wear, you were ready for your anti-selfie to be taken and shared on social media. Fact 11. It was attractive to the UK media. It attracted the attention of the UK media 145 times to be precise. Fact 12. It killed a lot of Estonians. If you are introverted, we must be dead, they said. Fact 13. It created a few Latvians. Writers from all over the world could relate, so they realised maybe they too are Latvians. And finally, who even knew what literature export was before the campaign? Who in the UK knew what Latvian literature is two years ago? Who would have thought that 40 Latvian books can be published in the UK in such a short time? Who would have thought that Latvians will ever be known for self-irony? Who would have believed that Latvian literature will make the BBC news? Who would have dared to say that our literature is as competitive as any other in the world? And who knew Latvia can have a literature campaign? What would I say about this campaign? Well, it went well.